puree with a light aroma. God damn. Light aroma? That light aroma. Very stark. What's going on guys? My name's Richard Mead. Again, I'm here with Ben Rettenhouse. We're on 213 South State Street in Big Rapids uh, at Cranker's Brewery and we're here to re review all of their um, craft beers that they make here in-house at Cranker's Brewery. Or in my case, some of their beers. Some of their beers. I've got all 10 and he has five. I'm more of a beer drinker. Ben is not. So, we're going to start off with the Ambrosia Honey Kolsch. Kolsch at that. Alright. Definitely a lighter flavored beer. Oh, it's not very heavy. Um, the, the, the honey is is, a, is pretty mellow. It's not extremely, you know, bam in your face honey. I am catching that white grape though. Uh, yes, definitely. Um, now that I think about it, it's more on the back of my tongue. All right, cherry wheat. All right. The cherry is not as as pronounced as I thought the cherry would be. I mean, it's a lighter flavored beer. When you think of like dark cherry wheat, I mean, you think like the only flavor you'd be getting would be really heavy cherry flavor. Does it, does it taste dark? Um, no, I mean, it, it, it's it's pretty smooth. It's not very hoppy. It's definitely a mellow flavor. Moving on to the bulldog red. I also bulldog like red. I'm gonna let you go first. Quite good. Bulldog Irish red. Oh, it's supposed to be caramel flavored. Taste that again. If you like Killian's. If you like Killian's Red Ale, that is, that is, I mean, it, it's very, very much akin to a Killian's. Um, it's it's, it's caramely. It does have, it does have, yeah, it is not, in the back of the throat. It's not as much. It's not caramel upon. Again, it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. um, again, I mean, if you like Killian's, this is right down your alley. I, I don't want to get shit faced on camera. All right, what's next? Coconut Porter. All this, right, I have this also. I'm just gonna go out and say this. This is my, one of my all-time favorite beers. Very nice dark, and dark. It's thick and nasty. All right. That's coconut. That is so much coconut. That's coconut. It is coconut. It's got a little bit of a coffee flavor to it. Yeah. Uh, it's got it's got some notes of uh, chocolate. I think. Um, well, Bell's has a, a, a porter as well that's uh, much akin to this without, without the uh, without the coconut, and it, and it is very chocolatey. Uh, it, it, Heavy coffee notes on almost all the porters. A lot of darker beers tend to have a lot of coffee notes. Very smooth. Like people get kind of scared with, with darker beers, thinking it's going to be really, really strong. Really intense. Yeah, really it's not. No, it's not. Black wing stout, chocolate covered espresso bean, light vanilla flavor. Yeah. Chocolate covered espresso bean. Really? It's straight up chocolatey. Oh, that's the first thing you get. Really? It's just chocolate. I mean, it's just like. The coffee flavor is on the back, definitely. Um, still very smooth, not happy at all. I mean, really not. I mean, it's yeah, like chocolate covered express. I mean, they really they, they nailed it with the flavor. I mean, the pumpkin spice porter, pumpkin spice, cinnamon, all spice, and coriander, tasty. It makes a note of saying on the menu, tasty. Pumpkin spice porter, everybody, to basicness. Is it pumpkin spice in your face? Subtly. It's very, it's, it's there to be tasted, but it's not overwhelmingly pumpkin spice. I'm interested to see what you think of this. Very, I mean, the spice, like, yeah. this is pumpkin spice. The pumpkin's there. Oh, wow, definitely on the back of my tongue. Holy cow. I mean, when you first take the drink, I mean, it's, it is, it's, again, smooth. All these beers have been extremely smooth. Um, now I think this is the most so of the porters, or at least the two I've had. Yes, yes. Yeah. I would agree. Um, wow. You know, my stomach is starting to hurt. I know. What we get ourselves into, but we do it for you. This is the this, this sustainer. The sustainer. Uh, Belgian rye, Dubel, double, not even a little. That's complex. Again, smooth. Um, it's kind of got the red ale, or the red, um, just that, they're like 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 the Killian's Red, or like their Bulldog Irish. Yeah, I kind of like the Bulldog. It's got that um that first little hoppy bite note to it when you when you when you first take a drink. This is the first beer that doesn't have like a themed flavor, like pumpkin or chocolate or coffee. It's a basic beer flavor to me okay. personally, um, and it's 
it's it's great. I mean, it is a darker kind of beer. It's not a light beer by any by any means. Um, it, it's just I mean, if you like dark beer, but you're not looking for something that has a chocolate or a coffee or, or that red that's got a little bit of um, uh, vanilla flavor to it. It doesn't have any of those notes. In it. it is this very basic beer flavor, and it's enjoyable. I mean, Session IPA, a medium-bodied, aggressively hoppy. How's it taste? The tops. It's hops. I mean, it's, it's what it is. Far out. <laughs> um, very grassy. It's, it's very yeah. earthy. I mean, it's very, um, holy cow, and it is right in your face. It is, it is definitely, um, definitely a beer that you have to like spicy beers. You have to like hoppy beers. You're not going to like it. Um, I would put it akin to the All Day IPA. Um, the All Day IPA, the Double IPA is extremely hoppy. And it's insane. This one's a little bit more toned out than that. And the aroma is just like the flavor. Professor IPA. Herbal orange, citrus, grapefruit, cannabis flavor. Hops wow. used, Cascade, citrus, Summit Tangerine, and cannabis herbal. So it's pretty much telling you that it's going to smell and taste a little bit like marijuana. It tastes very citrusy. Very citrusy? Is it that so. hop flavor though, right in your face? Oh, a little bit of it, but I think I really, I mean, I do detect the citrus quite a bit. Like, not even on the back of the top, like, instantly it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Orange peel. It's right there. That's what yeah. I think of. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I quite like that kind of, that, that really overtakes the hoppy flavor. I mean, being an IPA, it's going to be hoppy. Um, but that, that citrus, that orange peel, lemon peel, I think of like grated orange. Like yeah. It, it, yeah, I mean, like... Um, it tastes the way oranges orange. smell. Yeah, exactly. It is called, fittingly, for the end of this tour, it is called the End of the World IPA. 8.3%. Uh, that is the highest alcohol content in any of the beers that we've had so far. By far. By, by almost 2%. Uh, citrus Herbal IPA hops leap out of the glass. Hops in your face, those hops. Those hops. Yeah, you know what? I like it though. Yeah. It's very good. This is actually what I get every time I come here. This is my standard. I don't, and I don't usually like beer, but I go oh, straight wow. for this. Yeah. That is hops. I mean, that's it. It smells the way it tastes. Orangey and hoppy. I mean, that's, that's it. Whew. I mean, Spicy beer, man. I mean, that is that is just it is it is very much so. Would you come back for beer here, Richard? I would come back every single day for every beer. Every single day forever. Every single day forever for the beer here. I come back just for the the end of the world. I I'm Ben Rentenhouse. I'm Richard Mead. Thanks for. We'll catch you next time, guys. Oh, you got got beer on me. The Ferris State Torch would like to thank Jim Crank and the Crankers Brewery. Stay tuned for more videos.